The last video in the playlist left you with an exercise. In this video, I'm going to show you the solution to the first part of the exercise that was set. At the end of the last video in this playlist, I left you with this exercise where I asked you to produce some graphical user interfaces as shown here. I wanted you to produce this graphical user interface, this one, and this one. In this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at this graphical user interface, and I'm going to show you the solution for producing this. The first thing we can see is all of the scale widgets are in the same row and let's now consider the columns they reside in and we can see that the columns are from column zero through to column two so we can see each of the widgets are in a different column but they're all in the same row so we can summarize this by saying they are all in the same row but different columns and that will feed into our code this knowledge will allow us to decide what the code needs to be the other thing we must emphasize is they're all vertical scales and this will also dictate what our code will look like let's now consider the information we've got and the graphical user interface and have a look at what the code will look like for the graphical user interface we're looking at and you can see that the code is here these are the lines we usually expect to see when we're dealing with TK Inter. I won't give a description of these here. It's been done many times in the past in this playlist. Let's consider these three lines, and you can see that these are going to be the names of each of the scale widgets. You can look to here and see that we're going to be creating an instance of the scale widget that's going to be associated with this window that was created on the line above but look here and you can see the orient for all three is vertical and that's because if we look at the scale widgets here in the graphical user interface you can see that they're all vertical in nature so you can see that this information here this knowledge that they are all vertical scales has been taken note of in the computer program that i've produced I will now consider these three program statements and you can see that each program statement is dealing with a different scale and in all cases we are going to be invoking the grid method and within the grid method calls you can see that I'm setting the rows and columns as shown here. Now the first thing I would like you to note is that the row for all three has been set to zero and that's because we know they're in the same row. Whereas if you look here, you can see that the columns are all different. They go from zero to one to two. And we therefore have taken note of this information here, which is telling us they are all in the same row, but different columns. This was the exercise that was set in the last video. And in this video, I've shown you the solution for this graphical user interface. In the next video, I'm going to show you the solution for the production of this graphical user interface. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.